Hey everyone, this is Kelsey with Beyond Labs. Let's take a quick look at navigating the main menu of one of the lab modules. Specifically in this video, I'm using the chemistry lab module as an example. However, the main menus for all the lab modules are structured in the very same way. And the principles I will show you in navigating this main menu are the same for all the other lab modules. The first thing that you'll notice when you open one of the lab modules are these links on the top row. These links will take you to the corresponding lab benches and these lab benches will have absolutely nothing set up for an experiment. All the tools will be available for use and all the stockroom reagents will be available but nothing will be set up for a specific given experiment. Primarily we have these links for students who are looking to explore the capabilities of the labs, who are interested or curious, and also for instructors who are looking to develop their own unique experiments in our software, can go into these open-ended lab benches, pull together the instruments, reagents, tools that they need or would like their students to be using, and go through and develop their own experiment. In the bottom left-hand corner, we have the worksheet section. Students working on Beyond Labs assignments will much more often be clicking on the links here than they will on the open-ended lab bench icons on the top. Each of these worksheet links corresponds to a specific worksheet that we have of the same title. And by clicking on one of these links, for example, the Thompson cathode ray tube experiment, it will take the user into one of the lab benches, the five lab benches indicated above, but rather than having nothing set up, it will have the correct tools and instruments and reagents set up on the lab bench for the student to begin that specific experiment, much like you would come into your lab after your instructor or your teacher has done a little bit of setup and has the stuff out and ready for you to go to save time and also to prevent confusion. The worksheets provide detailed procedural instructions that will help you when you enter into a specific worksheet preset. They'll tell you what to interact with and how to click on and move different parts of the lab so that you're going through and doing your actual lab experiment as you go through. We also, in the top right hand corner, have these three buttons. The top one is the lab book. This button can be used to access the student lab notebook that you can also access in each of the lab benches where you'll be recording your observations and data you collect and so forth, whatever your instructor may ask you to record. It can also be accessed from this main menu here, say if you want to look at it between experiments as you're switching to a new assignment, so on. We also have this help button here. This help button will bring up a specific window that corresponds to where you are in the software. So this one specifically brings us some information about the chemistry lab module. So if you have any specific questions about using the software, many of those, the answers to those questions can be found here in this help menu. And lastly, we have the exit button, which when you're done working with the lab software is what you'll hit to leave the lab software and have your computer quit the application and uh, finish your session. Thank mm -hmm. you.